Okay, so what we're going to cover here is how to add custom attributes to Magento so that they can be filterable in the front end. So in this case, for this particular website, we have um, ceiling or, or TV mounts and we want to kind of put those in some different groups um, such as flat mounts and tilt mounts and, and we want people to be able to filter by those um, those attributes in the front end so they can slim down the results. So um, the what we need to do uh, to get to this screen that I'm on um, in the Magento admin just go to catalog attributes and then manage attributes and then we're gonna click on add new attribute start by giving this attribute a code and you need to use uh, lowercase characters and underscores um, I'm gonna make it a drop down there are different types of uh, fields you can create for or you can use for attributes uh, this particular one is gonna be a drop down um, each uh, since a mount type, a TV mount can only be uh, one type. We're doing a drop down. If it was a, um, if it was an attribute such as TV size, um, and you wanted to create some groups like uh, 19 through 32 inch or something like that, you could use a, um, you could use a text. Let's see, no, not a text. You could use a multiple select. Um, so that you could select multiple sizes on a product, but uh, we'll we'll get into that in a in a separate video. So for this one, we're going to do a drop down. I think the rest of these configuration options in here are pretty self-explanatory. Do we want it to be a unique value? Do we want to require a value for this attribute when creating a product? Um, input validation for store owner. Apply to. Um, you can apply it to different types of products or only specific products. Um, I think uh, as far as front end properties, I think these are all pretty um, self-explanatory as well. What we're going for here is that we want to use this in layered navigation. So we want it to be filterable with results and that's the only uh, option we're going to change for this particular example uh, because we want it to we want it to show up in the front end and we want it to be, uh, we want to allow people to click on it and be able to, to filter by mount type. So that's the setting that's going to do that for us. Now, the only thing we have left to do then is uh, we need to give it a label. And we're going to do mount type. And then we need to give it its options. In this case, it has three options. So there's going to be one called articulating mount. And we have a flat mount and we have tilt mount and by the way you can um, if you only fill out the admin label for for both the uh, title and the options it'll default the store view to use what the admin is using so you don't need to fill them out both it's a little a little redundant but uh, not really so redundant in the case where you want to call it different things in the admin uh, than what your customers see. So, um, and then if you want to position these, you can do that just by entering a number in here. Position one, two, three, and that orders them in the drop down. Basically, you can order them in any way that you want. Um, if I don't click is default for any of these, then it'll just show a blank value. It's the default in the front end. So I'm going to go ahead and save this attribute then. And we're going to move to the second part of um, creating a custom attribute. We need to add it to an attribute set. So I'm going to go to Catalog, Attributes, Manage Attribute Sets. And on the default Magento install, you're only going to have one attribute set in here, and that's the default. So we'll just go ahead and add it to that and you can see over here under unsigned attributes you can see our new one that we just created called mount type so I'm going to drag that 
um, I'm going to put it right above TV size and so uh, basically where this is going to show up is going to show up when you edit a product it's going to show up on the general tab that's what these are these are each of these folders is all a, a different tab that you can place attributes on um, in the admin so but we're going to put it on the general tab and like I said we're going to put it right above TV size here so I'm going to go ahead and save that attribute step or set excuse me and uh, the last part that we need to do is now that we have the attribute set or you know the attribute created and the set um, configured with our new attribute we need to go into catalog and manage products and we need to define a value so I'm going to go ahead and click on this mount this is an articulating full motion wall mount and you can see I'm on the general tab here so if I scroll down to the bottom you can see right above TV size I have our new mount type attribute and this is an articulating mount so I'm going to select articulating mount and save the product if if none of the products in a category have the mount type specified then it won't show up as a filterable option in the front end um, and then uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, refresh the front end here I've got I'm in the TV ceiling mount category here which is where that product resides so if I scroll down to my shop by module oh that must not be where that product resides let me check which category that's in might need to switch categories here doesn't seem to be defined to a category yet so I'm going to actually put it in I'm going to put it in LED TV mounts and I'm going to save the product again And then uh, on the front end, I'm going to switch categories here to LED TV mounts, the same category that that's in. Now, <clears throat> we should be able to see, yep, there it is. So now uh, in our shop by module, we can see mount type. And we have uh, one product that we've configured for articulating mounts. Um, we haven't configured any other products for flat TVs, flat mounts, or, or tilt mounts, so we won't see those in here until we actually assign that value to a, to a product. So if I click articulating mount, it's going to show us that product that we just configured as an articulating mount with our new attribute, and that's how it works.